you all for uh, speaking to that issue. As, as most of you know, I, I did write a letter. No, there is one more. Go ahead, sir. Just come on up. Just state your name. Hi, my name is Jody Montano, and I'm here also um, on behalf of the people that are against what's what the USDA and the CDFA is doing. I didn't organize my thoughts because I had planned on giving my minutes to Carrie. So let me just say a few things. I lived through this nightmare in 2002, 2003. I do not have poultry or chickens. However, I have exotic birds. And this time around, they say they're not targeting exotic birds as long as you have good biosecurity, but I still am not sleeping well at night. My birds are all in the house, but if CDFA decides that my neighbors across the street are have sick birds, which they will never prove, they have the authority to come in and kill my birds. So I'm... I'm just as upset about this as everyone else. I love animals, even if they're not my own. This is this feels like the government at war with the citizens of the state. I thought the government worked for the people, not against the people. Where are our rights? Why do they why can they just claim that there's this disease and not give test results, not say where the disease is? So so far they're claiming that they have found something like 430 positives and yet they've killed something like 1.5 million birds and they're killing daily as many and as fast as they can this just is so wrong do we not have any any recourse any way to appeal this you know they give you an appeal process you have to do it within 24 hours i mean i think it should be three days a lot of times they serve these notices on a friday so that would make the appeals on Saturday. You appeal to them and they turn every single one of them down. So this is not fair. We demand conclusive proof of, what's, of what they're claiming, that there is a virus. Also, I don't buy into their claim that this is the only way to stop the virus. When a child has a virus, you don't kill them and all the kids in their school. You quarantine them. You isolate. Why can't the CDFA put their resources into helping to isolate this virus, to educate the people that don't understand about good biosecurity, and and help, you know, be reasonable about this, not just go through and slaughter all the birds. So I, you know, the, our First Amendment rights are being trampled on. They are bullying. They show up unannounced. They try to get people on the spot to agree to let them kill their birds. If you fight them, they get real nasty and start bullying, and then they'll get a warrant. And the police, our police that are supposed to protect us, stand by and let them do this in front of crying, screaming kids. It's just not right. Somebody needs to step up for us. Somebody needs to hold the CDFA and the USDA responsible for proving their claims. It's just not right. And some, I think there's something very sinister behind it all. all right. That they're not telling us. All right. Thank you very much. So as I was noting, uh, thank you all for your testimonies today on it. Uh, our office did send a letter to the state. We have not gotten a response back. Um, we will forward our letter to our state legislators, which I would encourage all of you to be in contact with if you're not already. As you as you well know, it is a state agency um, that is conducting these uh, eradication, and it is not county employees. Uh, all we can do is ask for the state to be more responsive and, and more understanding, um, and comply with uh, you know our constitutional rights out there. Um, asking uh, a sheriff deputy to stop a warrant from being executed probably would result in the deputy being in, held in contempt. Um, I'd let counsel do that. So I, I, it's not that I'm disagreeing with you all on, on this process, but I don't think a sheriff deputy can stop a warrant from being. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And yes, uh, Sheriff Bianco did reach out to me. And over the past week, we have been discussing these issues. I have provided him with a detailed summary, having worked with the Agricultural Commissioner as to all of the applicable food and agricultural code provisions as it relates to the efforts of CDFA. There are very specific, uh, very 
very specific authority that has been delegated to the state veterinarian. Uh, they have issued orders uh, in compliance with those food and agriculture code provisions. There are very specific criminal provisions as it relates to any individuals who interfere with the execution of any warrant. We have confirmed with CDFA, at least that's what they have advised us, is that each of these uh, entries are pursuant to an inspection warrant that they obtain. And so ultimately where that puts us is, as uh, the chairman indicated, is that the deputies are there to keep the peace. And they are there to uh, ensure that CDFA is able to discharge their duties as provided by a judge uh, and to ensure that there is no conflict between the property owners, anybody who's lawfully protesting, and the investigators. And so we've provided him with all of that legal authority. Um, we've also provided him with all of the updated statistics uh, as to the scope of this problem and where uh, these inspection warrants have occurred, uh, the numbers of birds. Um, and so this is a process that is very tightly controlled by the state. And so we are continuing to assist the sheriff and his deputies as they're out in the field to try and ensure that our deputies discharge their proper duties uh, under the law. Okay. So long story short is state Trump's county. <laughs> so, um, that's kind of the, the bottom line here. We need state legislators and, um, you know, our state legislators and department heads at the state level to resolve the issue. So with that, we're going to move on to board member reports. Item number